Welcome. We're here with uh, baby Gerald and Paco. I don't know if you can see them. And uh, we're going to be reading the story of the herd boy and the weaving girl. Uh, and I'm reading from a, a book titled uh, Dragons, Gods, and Spirits from Chinese Mythology uh, with text by Dada Liu Sanders and illustrations by Johnny Pao. <clears throat> when the world was new and people first lived on earth, crops were hard to raise and there was never enough food for everyone. Seeing this, the high God sent the ox star down to earth as a messenger to tell people to eat only one meal every three days with an occasional extra snack. That's pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. Unfortunately, the ox was not very intelligent and he told people to eat three meals every day with an occasional snack as well. When the high God realized that the ox had delivered his message wrongly and that now there would be even less food to go around, he was enraged. As you have given people the wrong advice, he told the ox, you had better go down to earth and help them put things right. You will become the people's servant helping them to plow the soil and raise enough crops for their three meals a day and their occasional extra snack. The ox went sadly down to earth and he and his descendants have been men's servants since that day. We do not know whether the ox star himself had to stay on earth forever, but he was almost certainly the means by which the herd boy met the weaving girl, another of the heavenly maidens. The herd boy was a young man who was liked by everyone for his hard work and honesty. When his parents died, his two older brothers decided to divide up the property and go separate ways. As they were older and more cunning, the two brothers succeeded in claiming the best land and the best animals, leaving the herd boy with nothing but an old ox and the poorest piece of land. He led the ox to his land, built a rough shelter, and together they worked hard and managed to make a modest living. Being an honest, industrious young man, the herd boy never resented or tried to cheat anyone. One evening, exhausted from his labors in the fields, he sat beside the ox, feeling lonely and sad. For though his hard work had brought him a reasonable life, he had no one to share it with apart from the ox. Then suddenly the ox spoke up. Please don't be so sad, master, for I can help you. The herd boy was astonished to hear the ox speak. Who are you? And how can you help me? He asked. I am the ox star and I really belong in heaven replied the ox. I was sent here to work hard as a punishment, but you have been a very good master to me, and so I will help you to find a wife who will make you happy. Not far away from here, there is a clear pool shaded by trees and plants. Go there tomorrow and wait for the heavenly maidens to come and bathe in the pool. Whilst they are bathing, steal one of the girl's clothes so that she will not be able to fly up to heaven then she will be your wife. The herd boy did as the ox said and waited beside the clear pool. Soon, a crowd of beautiful heavenly maidens came down from the sky, shed their bright clothes like plumages and left them on the bank before stepping into the water. The herd boy waited and as they came out of the water again, he sprang from his hiding place and seized one of the piles of clothes. The girls were startled and snatching their clothes, they flew off into the sky. Only one girl was left and the herd boy came to the edge of the pool and spoke to her gently, begging her to be his wife. His soft words persuaded the girl and she agreed. Taking off his outer garments, the herd boy wrapped them around the girl and took her home. When the heavenly maiden and the herd boy were married, 
she told them that she was the weaving girl from heaven. She was indeed the goddess of weaving, and her skill with all kinds of cloth stood them in good stead. Before long, the income from her weaving gave them an easy, comfortable life. They were very happy together, and the weaving girl gave birth to a son and a daughter. But the gods regretted the loss of their weaving goddess and were anxious to have her back again in heaven. When her grandfather, the high god, discovered that she was living with the herd boy, he thought she, that she was far too good for him and sent his guards down to earth to bring her back to heaven by force. Is that a little scary? Yeah, I got you. We're all here together. That's just a story and we're not at the end. The weaving girl's husband and children were helpless against the guards and they watched weeping as she disappeared into the sky. Suddenly, there was a bellow from the stall. Herd boy, said the ox, I will do you one last act of kindness. I shall die here before returning to heaven. As soon as I am dead, take off my hide and put it round you. Then you will find your wife. When he had finished speaking, the ox dropped down dead. The herd boy was sad to lose his dear friend and advisor, but he did as the ox had said. He wrapped the ox hide round him and put a carrying pole across his shoulders with a basket at each end. Then he put his son in one basket and his daughter in the other. And as the little girl was smaller than her brother, he also put a ladle in her basket so that it would balance. When this was done, he took his staff, left his house, and found that he flew up into the sky just as his wife had done. It was not long before he could make out the figure of the weaving girl far away in the distance. The high god was very pleased to see the weaving girl return, but he was horrified when he saw her husband, husband following close behind. So he stretched out his hand and drew a line across the sky. This line became the Milky Way and formed a wide river, which the herd boy could not cross. He stopped before it and gazed at it helplessly till his little daughter said, Father, we can scoop the water out of the river with our ladle. Then we shall be able to cross. The herd boy set to work at once, and the children helped by scooping out the water with their hands. But hard though they tried, they could not empty the river. And when the gods saw that the herd boy and his children did not give up, they were deeply moved. The high god decided that the herd boy could visit his wife once every year. He decreed that on the seventh day of the seventh month, each year, all the magpies on earth would fly up into the sky and form a bridge. There they are. Across the water so that the herd boy could cross. When the weaving girl met her husband, she was so happy that she would sometimes cry. And on that night, the earth would receive a gentle shower of rain. Then all the mothers on earth would say to their children, Poor weaving girl, she is crying again. The herd boy and the weaving girl were in the sky for so long that finally they turned into stars. When we look up at the sky, we see a bright star on one side of the Milky Way in the constellation of Vespa. This is the weaving girl. On the other side, we see another bright sky, another bright star, Aquila with two small stars beside it. This is the herd boy and the two children. There are three other stars near the weaving girl, and it is said that these are the crooked staff for herding cattle, which the herd boy threw to his wife. Near the herd boy are four more small stars, which people say are the shuttle, which the weaving girl threw to her husband. It is said that during the long days and nights, they are apart. The couple hang messages on the staff and shuttle and throw them across the river. Looking at these distant stars, 
all parted lovers remember the herd boy and the weaving girl and gain, and gain courage from their example of faithfulness. Thank you.